Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel again. It is all about racing. Guys, if you remember about a month ago, I posted a video of this number 36 car. This was the M&M car driven by Ken Schrader at the time. And it was part of the global 2002 cast your vote. You were basically voting on the next color and flavor of M&Ms. You had an option of this sea blue, like you see there. This pink color with the blue M&M painting the side of the car. And finally, it was the distressed yellow M&M with purple all over the back of the car. Well, guys, behind this color is the box of the M&M color that won the global vote. And it was the brand purple color vote winner of the Pontiac Grand Prix in 2002. Who remembered and guessed that it was purple? If you did, let me know so in the comments below. Well, guys, as you can see here, you saw purple on the top of it. You can see the purple M&Ms splashed all over the bottom here. You open this box up, and inside this absolutely gorgeous... Oops, sorry, the lid keeps falling. This gorgeous box, and what I really like about this box is how you have, you know, the picture of the car there. It talks about... It shows you a cutout of it, literally something that you can do where you can you can take the body off of it and identifies all the various parts that you would see. And inside of there is this owner series collector limited edition car number 36, the M and M car in bright purple. Comes with this owner series card, letting you know that you have one of a limited number of these that they made, limited to 2,438 with this really cool metal pen right there. You also have an extra window piece there in case you take the window off and you lose it or it falls out. Take this car out. And here you have it. Now, guys, this car, as you can tell, is resplendent in purple. If you like purple, this is what you got. There's no longer a distressed M&M painting the car, you know, egging you to choose one color or the other. And as you can see, it has been added to the other colors uh, that you commonly see in M&M, those favorite flavors and colors that you like to eat. As was typical of this era, the details on this nomin are phenomenal and resplendent, but you definitely have a huge-ass splash of purple. In fact, other than the front of the car, which you can see has all the other colors of the M&Ms mixed with the purple, you got nothing but purple everywhere else. I mean, it is purple, purple, purple. Details, as usual in here, are absolutely freaking spectacular. I mean, these cars were amazing, guys. You go around to the back. There's a good look at, look at the back of the car. And remember the yellow guy that was really distressed, you know, painting the car purple? Well, it looks like he's finished the job. Purple it is. He is done. There you got it. Now, with these cars, you can open the trunk and take a look at the fuel cell. This is a Team Caliper's owner edition, so it is among the most detailed you will see. It is a phenomenal representation of it. You close the trunk, you take a look at the back of the car, and there are more details of the interior of it. Very, very nicely done. And there I've used my handy little brush to open the top of the car so you can see inside of that and take a look at the resplendent engine details that you get with these cars. I mean, guys, look at this. This is resplendent model work. Absolutely beautifully done by the folks at Team Caliper. There's a look in the cabin, you get inside the window net. The window net is not plastic, guys. It is actually rubber. It is very, very nicely done. Seat, steering wheel, stick shift, you can see all that on the interior of that car. And of course, the other amazing thing about these cars are the bottom. And just look at the detail that you have. There's the radiator. You can see hoses coming off the engine in there. You've got the engine itself. You've got the transmission. You've got the suspension. I was checking to see if the drive shaft actually spun on this one. It doesn't. You do have belts on there. You can see the coiled suspension. There is the fuel cell. And this also tells you what number do you have. This is 1,665. Out of, I believe it was uh, 2,648 of these that they made. Folks, these are good 
quality car. Now you've seen this car in its resplendent detail. You know, these were amazing cars. This one made by uh, Team Caliper. It's not the crap that you get today from Lionel. I mean, the cars that they make today, folks, I, I gotta be honest with you, they're, from what I've seen reviewed online, they are absolute shit gar garbage compared to these cars. Uh, if you want to get a really good stock car and you don't really care about having to have the latest driver, Ryan Blaney, whoever the hell it is, uh, get one of these cars. Better yet, get a sports car. Better stuff. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you voted purple. Take care. See ya.